The New Jersey Generals have been eliminated from the 2022 USFL playoffs. The Generals came into this game with so much hype and so much hope. And in the end, they just blew it. This team played a Philadelphia Stars team that they should have beat. Not because the Stars were a worse team, but because the Stars became one after injuries. The Stars would end up losing interception leader Channing Shribling and their rushing leader Matt Colburn, as well as Cookus playing injured throughout the second half. Yet the Generals still managed a way to lose. In the first half, the biggest flaw was in their 8-minute drive that started at their own 8 and ended at the Philly 28, when Luis Perez finally threw an interception after an insanely long time. Their next drive, they would hold it for 8 minutes and end up turning the ball over on downs in the Phillies' 7-yard line, making back-to-back drives that combined for an insane quarter of a game that netted them 0 points. They then proceeded to have the opening kickoff be fumbled away back to the Stars. Thankfully, the Stars did nothing through an interception, and the Generals were able to score off that. On the Stars' next drive, they would end up fumbling the ball in the red zone, giving New Jersey the ball back, which they in turn did nothing but punt the ball. On the Stars' next drive, they missed a field goal to give the Generals another chance to actually score some points, especially since that field goal was an insanely short one. But instead, the Generals do nothing and punt it. After a little while where the only thing was a punt or was a field goal by the Stars, the Generals still had the lead. They had the lead thanks to their their insane punt return touchdown from MVP Kevontae Turpin earlier in the game. And you know what ended up happening after this? Well, they ended up having the ball, they punted it, and the, the Generals, they allowed one right back. The other... All USFL special teamer in this game, Maurice Alexander, returned that punt for the league-leading 87-yard return to give them the lead. And on the Generals' final drive, they threw another ill-timed interception. The worst part for this Generals team that lost is the fact that they did it by not playing the style of football they were supposed to. They only had Luis Perez pretty much throw the football, literally. DeAndre had zero pass attempts the entire game, and overall, that's what did him in. The fact is, this team had to rely on both quarterbacks if they wanted to win. If you keep one in, your offense becomes kind of stale. To put it simply, the offense only put up a f- literally seven points. The other seven was from Maurice Alexander. If the Stars hadn't have had those two awful drives in the red zone, they could have easily won this game by 15. So the fact is, the Generals completely got outclassed in this game and outmatched, and the fact that they lost this bad is honestly pretty baffling. I guess it just was that all the hype was too much for them, but in the end, the better team won. As I said, I thought the Stars were going to win because I feel felt like the Generals were going to play terribly, and guess what? They did. And they're able to knock off the New Jersey Generals and end their win streak at nine in a row. And-